school booster club is out close to $2,000 after a parent admitted to embezzling money. Now, this is happening at Aranko Elementary School, and it's the booster club there. Lisa Balick at the school tonight. Lisa, so this is the parent club that basically raises money for the kids. Yes, exactly. Thousands of dollars for the kids for field trips, for outdoor school, for the end of the year celebrations. And while police began to investigate, they tell us no one wanted to come forward and file a police report after one of the two treasurers came forward and admitted that she was stealing the money and that she'd pay it back. It's tempting to touch, easy to pocket if no one's keeping close tabs on the flow of cash from fundraisers. There are unfortunately bad people in every sector who have an opportunity to take advantage of the organization they're working with, whether it's a business organization, whether it's the public sector. In fact, our quick internet search discovered dozens of people found guilty of embezzling from school booster clubs and other parent supported school groups. Locally, the Nonprofit Association of Oregon trains organizations how to do a better job running their nonprofit group and keeping tabs on the till. They should immediately, at the, next, at the next available opportunity, they should get a full accounting. They should have two people count the money um, to make sure that, you know, both of them have signed off on this is the amount of money that was here, this is what was collected. They should be providing receipts to the people who gave the money, and they should be accounting to the board, the rest of the board, this is how much money we brought in. I obtained a copy of a letter going out to parents at Arenko Elementary School this afternoon from the principal. It says the person who took the money has admitted it, and the school is working to recover that money. Police are involved. Both treasurers with the booster club have stepped down. Parents I've talked with have concerns there may be more money unaccounted for. Others tell me it's sad someone would steal from the kids. Hopefully, you know, the person will be able to pay it back. But, you know, we also want to, you know, make sure it doesn't happen again, that there isn't an opportunity. And listen to this. Even if you volunteer on a board and you're not the one stealing, you're still responsible as someone who should have been watching. Their liability becomes personal liability when they don't discharge those duties. What do you mean by that? Well, so they are fiduciarily responsible for the organization, a nonprofit. Now, knowing that, here's something else I found out. There is nonprofit directors and officers insurance that groups can purchase. Now, I found out this afternoon the woman was also involved as treasurer for the Liberty Youth Baseball Organization in Hillsborough. I just got off the phone with the president who says he asked her to resign a few days ago. He said he has checked and doesn't believe there's anything that's going on wrong with the money, but he is still checking. Now, by the way, there's a booster club meeting here at Arenko Elementary tomorrow night. Clearly, this is going to be the big topic. Live in Hillsborough, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Yeah, no